Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about porosity. So this porosity means the pores that we see in the casting. May it be inlay, onlay or full crown. This pores can be external or internal. The external pores will lead to discoloration of the casting and it will lead to secondary caries. How it will lead to secondary caries is that let's say this is the casting that has been placed on a tooth. Now if we see presence of a porosity at the interface of this casting and the tooth surface there will be presence of food lodgement taking place here that will lead to presence of caries. And then there are internal porosities that is present within the tooth within the casting. Now this will not be visible to us with naked eyes. We have to do the sectioning of the tooth to see them and what the effect they will have. The effect is that they will weaken the tooth structure. Another way to classify the porosity is based on the method how they take place. First is through the solidification shrinkage and next is gas entrapment leading to porosity. Because of the solidification shrinkage we can have three types of porosity. The localized shrinkage porosity, micro porosity and suck back porosity. And because of gas entrapment we can have pinhole porosity gas inclusion porosity, subsurface porosity and back pressure porosity. First is localized shrinkage porosity. Now this is due to premature termination of the flow of molten metal during the solidification. Here you can see this is the pattern that we have placed within the investment and this over here is proof and from here the metal the which is molten stage is entering the pattern. Now this molten metal will enter through the sprue and ultimately it will fill in the pattern and it will solidify to form the pattern in a complete state that is what happens normally but sometimes what happens and uh, now one thing we need to remember is that there is a linear contraction of the noble metal that is at least 1.25 percent what does it mean the linear contraction means when the metal is in this liquid state and then it turns into solid state there will be contraction of 1.25 percentage that is let's say this is how the liquid metal has entered the pattern when it will solidify it will contract so as you can see from the liquid stage when it enters the solid stage there is a contraction taking place this is the linear contraction that is seen in the noble metals now what will happen you and you place the liquid metal within the pattern and it will solidify. Now the next metal will enter over here mm. and that also will solidify. Further more metal will enter there and it will also solidify and it will enter over here. The next part will here. Now once it solidifies we will get a full formed casting. But Instead of this same thing happening again, if let's say this is the last lot that is supposed to solidify contract and being filled by excess metal which is coming from the sprue. Instead of that, if there is freezing taking place in the sprue itself. So for this contraction that took place at this point, we will not have metal passing from the sprue and this will lead to a void formation over here. And this void will lead to porosity that is known as localized shrinkage porosity. Okay. Next is micro porosity. This is we will see when we are using fine grain alloy castings. Here from the liquid stage to solid stage there is rapid solidification that will lead to formation of micro voids within the structure. This premature solidification will cause formation of small irregular voids. It can occur from rapid solidification if the mold or casting temperature is very low. Okay, this will not be seen clinically. You can see this kind of porosity that is internal porosity only when you do the sectioning of the casting and this is not going to cause any serious defects as well. Next is suck back porosity. Now here what happens is we had seen that the molten metal enters to the sprue and it reaches in the pattern. Now you can see when it is entering the pattern over here continuously it is impinging 
over this point of the casting and because of this it will lead to increased temperature of this spot that we can call it as hot spot now what will happen here is that this hot spot area of this particular pattern will have more temperature and because of more temperature it will solidify last than the other part of this casting and we know if it is solidifying last and the part surrounding it has already got solidified we will not have enough material for it to compensate for the shrinkage that will take place over this point so ultimately it will lead to porosity on this point also this kind of porosity is known as suck back porosity so this can be eliminated by flaring the point of sprue that is here where is the attachment of the sprue and uh, by reducing the mold melt temperature differential that is lowering the casting temperature by about 30 degrees celsius next is pin point porosity so certain metals such as silver when it is dissolved it has oxygen dissolved within it but when it solidifies obviously this gas will be expelled and on solidifying there will be presence of the gas within the metal this kind of porosity when they reach the surface we can see the porosity and you will see mostly when you polish this kind of metal right this is pin point porosity next is gas inclusion porosity it is almost same as the pin point porosity okay but the size of this porosity are larger so in addition to silver dissolving oxygen along with it the copper also does dissolution of the oxygen and the platinum and palladium they have strong affinity for hydrogen as well as oxygen so all of them gets dissolved within them and when they solidifies they are expelled and leads to porosity another way through which this kind of gas inclusion porosity can take place is when the metal is flown in the pattern it will have this gas along with it and when they have this gas along with it on solidifying this gas will be expelled and they will turn into porosity this is also a type of gas inclusion porosity okay and then there is subsurface porosity the reason for this voids are not well understood but they may be caused by simultaneous nucleation of the solid grains and gas bubbles now you can see here there is solid grains on the surface and below the surface this gas bubbles are present on solidification there will be presence of the this gas bubbles below the surface we are calling them as subsurface porosity this type of porosity can be diminished by controlling the rate at which the molten metal it enters the mold and last type is back pressure porosity here what happens is when the metal is entering the pattern at that point the gas which is trapped within this pattern why it is trapped because it is not able sometimes it may not be able to exit through the investment the pores through the investment it can cannot exit through so it will be trapped over here and once it is trapped over here the metal will surround it and the metal will get solidified so this point over here will be present in the form of pore this kind of porosity is known as back pressure porosity this entrapped air voids are frequently found in a pocket at a cavity surface of a crown or mod casting occasionally it is found even on the outside surface of the casting when the casting temperature of this mold is so low that the solidification occurs before even the entrapment air can escape so usually what will happen even if the air is there it will be able to pass through this molten metal and it will exit through the investment but if the temperature is very low as soon as this metal is entering in the casting it will get solidified so this air which was trapped here will not get chance of exiting through this pathway also okay so this kind of porosity is known as back pressure porosity okay that's all from this video if you have any doubt feel free to post in the comment section all the best thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates